Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm going to be sharing you guys the story of Arthur Morgan actually helping build a house in a secret mission that you might not have known about. So I'm sure you guys have actually run across this at least once or twice, but might not have known that it amounted to an entire full story of actually completing building a house. And it's this little homestead just outside of Valentine. Again, I'm sure you guys have come up to this once or twice and seen it and said hello, but you might not have known that there is a full-blown story here. And that's what we're going to be running through in this video today. So there's five total stages to this encounter, and we're going to be going through all of them in this video today. This is how the first one begins when you approach the father and their sons for the very first time. We got a long way to go, huh? <laughs> I asked my boys here if they would help their pa build a, a new house. Thought I'd teach them a few things, you know. Couldn't hammer a nail to save their lives. Ain't that right, Curtis? Whatever you say, Paul. Look out! What in holy hell are you doing, boy? Get that back up again right now. I I'm gonna be 100 years old by the time we get this done. No, 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 no. Get away from it. Get away from it before you mess it up even worse than it is. All the best. You too, friend. Why does he get with us like that? He don't like the way we're doing it. He should do it himself. Damn straight. Let's just enjoy the silence for a few minutes before he starts griping at us again. As you guys saw there, the father and the sons look like they are building a homestead, and it's not going so great. The father is trying to teach the sons how to build, and they are obviously struggling with that. And what's fun is you can check back on them every once in a while, and the father will provide a fun little update. Oh, hello again. Good to see you again. <sighs> We're moving along slowly, but less than surely. I got more chance of teaching a pig to sing opera than to turn this pair into carpenters. <laughs> Don't look so bad to me. Uh, I asked God for sons, and he sent me donkeys. Ain't that right, boys? <laughs> he just wants to lord over us. Keep at it. You'll get there. I'd seriously rather be doing anything else. Okay, then. Having fun there? This is the exact opposite of fun, mister. So, yeah. So that's the first part. Now we move on to the second part where we actually encounter the father and the sons in a little bit of trouble. We told you not to build on this planet. Hey, get out of here. This doesn't control you. This ends up. Appreciate you stepping in there. Those bastards have been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. You watch yourself, all right? What happened to you two? cowering like dogs you wouldn't give us no guns pa this is the worst idea i've ever had we're with you on that well don't feel you have to hang around on my account you'll be all right just stick it out i just want to go back home yep stay out of trouble i'll try 
You'll be all right. If I could only turn back time and say no to this. So, so far things are not going well for our father and son duo here as they were just attacked by some thugs that were looking for protection money to build their little homestead. And once again, after this happens, you can check on them and uh, they'll give you this status report. Good to see you again. We're moving along here slow as ever, as you can see. Kind of like rolling molasses up a steep sandy hill with these two. If you're gonna do it, do it right. Huh. Tell that to them. Well, you seem to be back on track anyway. I'll see you later. Yep, for now at least. Wish Pod teach us to shoot instead of building this stupid house. You'll be all right. If I could only turn back time and say no to this. Okay. You'll be all right. Just stick it out. I just want to go back home. Well, okay, I'm sure man. You got things to do. So after that occurs, they'll sort of reach a breaking point where they have run out of money. And then Arthur has to step in to eventually save the day. Oh, <laughs> hey there. How's it going? Well, it ain't going at all. We're broke. We're about ready to call it quits, to be honest with you. Listen, I... I, I, I hate to ask, but... but uh, is there any way that you could help us get the supplies that we need to finish? Well, I ain't promising nothing, but I'll see what I can do. There's a logging camp over in Big Valley, pretty much straight west of here, that might have lumber for sale. Now, what you can choose to do here really depends on whether you want to save a little bit of money or not. Uh, you can basically choose to give this guy $100, which don't worry, you'll end up getting this back at the end. Or what you can do is go to the Appleseed Timber Company and buy some uh, timber from there, some supplies. And that'll cost you, I think, $75. So it's really a difference of $25 and how much work you want to do. The Appleseed Timber Company is not too far away. But essentially, that's what you have to do. And then you bring the wood back to the man or you give him the money. Look at all that wood. I don't believe it. I can't thank you enough, friend. You're paying me back, though. Oh, of course. Of course. Just as soon as we sell the house, you'll get your money back. And then some. I'm done with this. So obviously the father is very thankful. Now he can complete his project. And uh, now from there, you can return a couple of weeks later and you will find that the house is completed. Turned out pretty nice, didn't it? Time for me to move on though. Just sold it to a farmer moving up here from the south. Good for you. So can I have my money now? Of course, not a problem. We managed to drum some together. Here you are, as promised, and with interest. So I told you guys this was a pretty solid investment because the father is good on his word and he gives you back his money with interest. So you end up getting $150 in total. So that's quite nice. If you paid $100 for him, you would get 50 bucks. If you spent $75 on the lumber, you would get $75 extra. So it is pretty satisfying. Now the money here I think is the optional reward. Seeing him complete this house is obviously very cool. And one of the things he says he mentions is that he sold it to a farmer. Now if you return in the epilogue or if you return a couple of weeks later, you will find that the homestead 
has been completed and has been officially sold to its new owner. So I don't think the new owners are anyone in particular. They look to just be a husband and wife couple. But you can see they have completely transformed not only the exterior of the house, but also the interior as well. There's a farm on the outside. The interior has been updated. However, this lady was not very happy with me going on the inside of her house, which I can totally understand why. And uh, that right there is the story of how Arthur helped build a house in Red Dead Redemption 2. And completing this secret side mission really made me want to be able to own houses like this. Not only in Red Dead Redemption 2, but Red Dead Online as well. Now I know the whole premise of Arthur and the gang life is to live at like the camps that they establish, but I do think it would be cool if he had a home sort of outside of the camp life. Sort of another safe house where he could, you know, put his guns and other equipment and maybe show off some of his trophies that he's hunted. And as far as Red Dead Online goes, I don't really understand why Rockstar haven't added big properties like this into the game. Maybe it's because they're still in the beta stage of Red Dead Online. You would assume that they would want to add stuff like that as there are sprawling little cabins all over the world and ones just like this that have been completed by the time Red Dead Online would be taking place. But either way, this secret side mission was pretty cool. Officially, these are called event areas in game. There's a couple of other event areas in the game as well. If you'd like to see me check them out, please be sure to let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.